We are also following a developing story out of San Diego. Four are dead and dozens more hospitalized after a boat capsizes just off the coast. This morning, officials are looking into whether it was a human smuggling operation. CBS 4's Laura Podesta has more. A boat carrying more than two dozen people capsized near San Diego on Sunday. Everyone was panicking, everyone was yelling. Kale Foy is a member of the Navy, but he was off duty, spending the day with his family when he saw people in the water. I gave everything to my wife and said, I'll see you here in a little bit, and just jumped in the water. Foy and another man who's training for the Navy SEALs helped survivors get to pieces of floating debris before lifeguards, the U.S. Coast Guard, and other agencies arrived. We trained for the worst and expect for the best and today was was not the best but it's something that I always had in the back of my mind. It just actually happened. Lieutenant Rick Romero believes the 40 foot wooden boat was broken up by the waves. In my 28 years of working, never seen anything like this or been on a call of this uh, magnitude. And I saw people just getting sucked out, flo uh, floating out. Some of them were face down, and then a whole bunch of people down below along the base of the cliff there. Federal officials suspect it was a human smuggling operation. Agents are interviewing the survivors, including the boat's captain. They don't care about the people they're exploiting. All they care about is, is profit. Uh, to them, these people are just commodities. So uh, and you can see that in the way they, they treat them. Border Patrol said last week it would be ramping up operations in the area this weekend to stop maritime smuggling. Laura Podesta, CBS News.